With its 2018 Atlas, Volkswagen finally has a mid-size three-row crossover, a family-friendly option that its dealers and buyers have long wanted available in S, SE, and SEL trim levels. The Atlas gets everything right on paper, but its execution leaves a little to be desired in our testing. It's a 6.5 out of 10, which puts it a hair above average, how we rate cars. We've knocked it down for its lackluster fuel economy not offset by particularly impressive performance and for an interior that feels low rent compared to virtually all rivals. On the flip side, it's exceptionally roomy and versatile inside, and its conservative looks should hold up well in like VW's previous crossover efforts, the Tiguan and the Touring. The new Atlas is a decidedly American-oriented model, so much so that it is built in Chattanooga, Tennessee now. VW has been down this road before with its Passat, which was also designed for Americans and is built alongside the Atlas while the Passat hasn't exactly been a hit. The Atlas shoots for the fast-growing crossover SUV segment instead of the slowing sedan market. The Atlas is offered in five trim levels and with a choice of 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder or 3.6-liter V6 engines mated to either front or all-wheel drive, but only the V6 can be ordered with winter weather-friendly on it just shy of 200 inches from head to toe, it's on the large side compared to its rivals, which includes the Toyota Highlander, Honda Pilot, Ford Explorer, and Nissan Pathfinder the Atlas is likely to be the largest vehicle to ride on VW's new modular architecture, which underpins everything from the company's Golf hatchback line to the next generation Tiguan. Confusingly, the next Tiguan also hits the market during calendar year 2017 and will also offer three rows of seats, although it will be a fair amount smaller than the Atlas, 